hello friends so this is lecture number 17 of your course 78166 and the topic for today's lecture is euler cauchy equation uh, the topic is still same like we are going with the solution of the non homogeneous linear differential equation but here the major factor is now the coefficients are not constant the coefficients are variable right and whenever there are variable coefficients there is only one method to solve it and which is called uh, the euler cauchy equation or the euler cauchy method to solve the equations and at the end of this lecture we will also deal with the operator form of simultaneous system of linear differential equations so let's first start with the equations with variable coefficients so euler cauchy equation first of all consider a second order non homogeneous linear differential equation with the variable coefficient remember not the constant coefficient but the variable coefficient right here the if you look at the coefficient of y double dash it is x square what is the coefficient of y dash it is x and what is the coefficient of y it is 1 that means uh, it is an equation with the variable coefficient the thumb rule for this to be called as euler cauchy equation is whatever is the order of the derivative same number of x should be multiplied with this one like y double dash its order is 2 so x square should be along with this one similarly y dash means order is 1 so only 1 x should be multiplied here y it is not a derivative no order of y that's why there should not be any x with this one so the thumb rule is whatever is the order of your derivative same number of x should be multiplied this kind of equation is called euler cauchy equation so first of all we write down the symbolic form of a euler cauchy equation like it becomes x square d square x y dash become x d again we write one here and we take y common equals to r x right where d is what basically d by dx so if you look at this equation so this is equation with the variable coefficient so my first job is to convert this equation with the variable coefficients to an equation with the constant coefficients using an appropriate transformation i need to use a transformation which will convert this equation from variables separate variable coefficients to the constant coefficient and we know number of methods to solve the equation with the constant coefficient so the transformation that we use always is x is equal to e raised to power t that means if you take log on both sides so t is nothing but actually equals to log x now just like there was an operator d capital d that was d by dx let us consider another operator theta which is nothing but d by dt right so your x into d becomes theta x square d square become theta into theta minus 1 x cube d cube become theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 and so on in 90 percent of the cases we remain up to x square d square only so fine so the moment you write it another operator so this equation changes into this form this x square d square that becomes a theta into theta minus 1 this x d becomes theta and 1 remains only there now which is the equation with the constant coefficients and we know there are number of methods to solve this equation i think it will be more clear again if we start explaining with the help of a numerical so let's do a numerical first he says find the solution of x square y double dash plus x y dash minus 4 y equals to 0 right so if you look at this equation it is an equation with the variable coefficients and if you look it more deeply y double dash multiplied by x square y dash means multiplied by 1x no dash so that is no x right so this kind of equation is nothing but it is a euler cauchy equation so what is the transformation with that we use it is always x is equal to e raised to power t and when you take log on both sides that means t equals to log x then now we need to use the another operator what we call as theta which is nothing but d by dt so it is taking our question from x domain to t domain so x into d becomes theta x square d square becomes theta into theta minus 1 where theta is nothing but d by dt now make these substitutions your equation 1 becomes what your x square d square which is equal to theta into theta minus 1 i put it here 
similarly next one x into d which is equal to theta this four remains as such right so for exaltation what we do we leave y and if we put the rest of the expression equal to zero that is called auxiliary equation so if i put it equal to zero this minus theta and plus theta cancel out theta square is minus four theta is equal to two and minus two two real and equal roots and because your equation was homogeneous means there was no function on the right hand side your complementary function itself is the complete solution and you know how to write down the solution c1 e raised to power m1 into t remember here the variable is t not x similarly c2 into e raised to power minus 2t now in place of t because the question is originally asked in x so my answer should also be in x so wherever it is e raised to power t it is x na that means it becomes x square and if it is e minus 2 that means it becomes x raised to power minus 2 so this is how we solve the homogeneous linear differential equation i can take one more numerical for the explanation again he says 9y 9x square y double dash 15x y dash plus y equals to 0 the given equation is this one and the first of all we write down its symbolic form 9x square d square plus 15x d plus 1 y common now still it is in the variable coefficients now i need to convert it into constant coefficients so the transformation used is always x equals to e raised to power t that means t equals to log x also your x into d becomes theta x square d square become theta into theta minus 1 where theta is actually the operator d by dt so your equation becomes what this 9 x square d square becomes 9 theta theta minus 1 this 15 xd can be written as 15 theta this one remains as such right and if you put this expression equal to 0 we get the auxiliary equation right we put it equal to 0 and if you look at this one this is a quadratic expression in theta so the two values are minus 1 by 3 and minus 1 by 3 and when the roots are same we take those many constant within a bracket and attach t with one of them and it is minus 1 by 3t so wherever it is t it has to be replaced by log x because my ultimate answer should have to be in x and e raised to power minus 1 by 3 means nothing but x raised to power minus 1 by 3 so this is how you solve the homogeneous equation i take another homogeneous equation here i leave it to you this is its uh, symbolic form then you change it to theta again it gives you the auxiliary equation from here when you get the roots the roots are complex conjugates and this is how we write down the solution am i right now let's move to the questions which are actually non homogeneous means there is a function of x on the right hand side like x square y double dash minus 2y equal to 2x now if you look at this one there is a function of x on the right hand so so you need to calculate complementary function as well as a particular integral so x square d square minus 2 again you use the transformation x is equal to e raised to power t so x d becomes theta x square d square becomes theta theta minus 1 so what your equation becomes in place of x square d square it becomes theta into theta minus 1 this minus 2 remains as such now there was x and what x is in terms of t it is e raised to power t so that becomes 2 into e raised to power t so next we denote this expression by f of theta and we denote the right hand side as a function of a t so that means there will be two things one is complementary function another will be particular integral let's start with the complementary function auxiliary equation means f of theta equals 0 means theta square minus theta minus 2 equals to 0 so the two values of theta are 2 and minus 1 real and unequal roots so your complementary function becomes c1 e raised to power 2t c2 e raised to power minus t but we have to have the answer in terms of x so it means c1 x square plus c2 x raised to power minus 1 so i'm done with the complementary function Now let's move to the particular integral the formula for particular integral is always 1 upon f of theta into r of t you put the value of f theta here and we put the value of t r t now 2 becomes constant comes out of the calculation and it is 1 upon theta square minus theta into e raised to power t 
now we know whenever there is exponential function we do remove theta by alpha so in place of theta here you put theta equals to 1 right so we replace it by 1 so this one and this one cancel out I am left with the 2 only in the denominator this 2 also cancel out so finally particular integral equals to x so the general solution is given by you know complementary function plus particular integral so yc plus yp is your answer and that is what our answer is let's move to another question similarly if you look here it is xky double dash 2xy dash it means it is equation with the variable coefficients and cause of log x on the right hand side it is a non-homogeneous equation right so again we use the transformation x is equal to e raised to part t that means t equals to log x your x theta big xd becomes theta x squared is coming theta into theta minus 1 so when we make this substitution my f theta is theta square plus theta and function on the right hand side is cos t when you put f theta equals to 0 it formulates our auxiliary equation and the two roots or the values of theta are 0 and minus 1 once you put these in the formula we get the complementary function c1 e raised to power 2t c2 e raised to power minus t right now the next job is to calculate a particular integral it is always 1 upon f of theta rt now theta square plus theta into cos t what we do for trigonometric function we replace d square by minus of a square here the coefficient is 1 so minus a square means minus 1 so it is theta minus 1 and whenever it is in the form of a factor we rationalize means we multiply by theta plus 1 and theta plus 1 here so here should be plus 1 over here as well so what I get theta plus 1 in the numerator theta plus 1 means theta of cos t means derivative of cos t and plus cos t as such right so this is derivative of sin cos t is minus sin t plus cos t and this is what we get as the answer I think it should be minus over here because t is to be replaced by log x again so right this is my particular integral so you add up these two we get the solution similarly there is another question I leave it for you next is your simultaneous system of equation here what happens see the system involving two first order differential equation in two independent variables y1 y2 and one independent variable means there are two dependent variable y1 y2 and there is only one independent variable x this kind of a system of equations is called simultaneous system of lin uh, linear differential equation from mcq point of view they will be asking only the operator form otherwise the question becomes very lengthy i tell you an example he says convert this system of equations into operator form what we do look wherever it is y1 take y1 common what i can write it down as 6 into d plus 3 because d is taken as a differential operator and right? similarly where is y2 next time take y2 common what i get 5d plus 1 y2 common and in the next equation it is minus 5 1 1 only here and if you look at y2 y2 is here and y2 is here and d by dx is capital d so d plus 3 e raised to 5 so this is the operator form of your equation we can also look at another question again what i am given two simultaneous equations in y1 and y2 so let capital d is a differential operator d by dx so what happens if you look at this term it is also having y1 this is also y1 so this becomes 3d plus 2 y1 common this y2 remains as such equals to e raised to power minus x on the right hand side similarly if you look at the second equation here it is dy by 1 here it is also y1 so this is d minus 2 y1 common and you can also take y2 common from these two terms that means d plus 3 y2 common equals to 0 so this is how we route uh, we write down system of linear homeodifferent differential equations in an operator form so we'll meet for the unit number 4 next time till then it's goodbye and thank you